All right, guys, before we get into this week's episode, we do have a bit of bad news. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen this photo. And if you remember from last week's episode, this episode we're about to watch is meant to be the 12 HT time lapse. But as I've been editing the time lapse and also the um, engine accessories and the turbo install, my hard drive, my external hard drive, has fallen from the top of my computer onto my desk and just absolutely corrupted every minute of footage from those episodes. So um, we have got this packaged up, the hard drive ready to be sent to the Netherlands. So hopefully, if anyone from Seagate's watching, just get it done. Hopefully we can get back all of the footage we lost through data recovery and we can get back on schedule. So this is about episode four we're about to watch, but um, obviously we'll just upload it now and get the ball rolling. And then hopefully when we get back this footage, we can uh, continue. But um, anyway, you live and you learn. Obviously not stoked about it, but what can you do? Anyway, just sit back, relax, and enjoy the episode. Hey gang, welcome back to Shed Built. Today, we're gonna to be pulling the 2H. All right, so to make our life a bit easier, we're going to remove the bar, the lights, all the accessories at the front, and then the bonnet, the guards, and then that way we can pull the engine straight out in one hit, and also paint inside of the guards, the bonnet, the firewall. It'll be a hell of a lot easier while they're off the car. And also to add the bonnet scoop. So we'll go ahead and get stuck in. All right, sorry I haven't filmed a lot of that. It's been absolutely chaotic. We have removed both the batteries. Got some of these looms and harnesses out of here. And uh, you can see the absolute dog's breakfast of wiring in here. So I'm gonna rip it out and start again. And I'm trying to get this fender off here. I have done a lot of the bolts. Even had to take off the sliders to get to the ones under here and all the ones in the fender. 
there might be some hidden ones up through the firewall there but it looks like I have to take off this front panel first so to do that just draining the radiator now and um, undoing a lot of the lines and removing this fan shroud to get it out but we'll keep on moving forward good times The next day. All right, it's a new day. Feeling good, feeling fresh. Trying to get this fender off. Seems to be like 40 bolts holding it in, so I'm just going through and finding all the hidden sneaky ones. But uh, hopefully today you can get a bit more done. So let's get into it. Finally, got one side off. Now I'll work on this side. I'll come back when it's done. Guards are off. What a job, would not recommend. No, no, no. Also, whilst doing so, we found a bit of rust. Finally see why I've been getting a foot bath every time I'm driving in the rain. So that's gonna suck to fix, so I have to unpick that. Patch it, weld it back in, but at least they're off. You can see how much easier it's going to be to lift the engine once we get this cross member off and the inner fender wells out, which we'll do now, and then we can start ripping this boat anchor out. All right, after hours and hours, it's ready to pull. Got all the wiring labeled, all the bolts and parts bagged and tagged. Everything's disconnected. We have dropped the cross member, disconnected the front and rear tail shafts, and everything is disconnected from the gearbox, being supported by the jack. I'll lower that jack down, and I've just rolled out the engine crane. So I'll lower the jack, pick it out, drag it back and rest it down. It's just started to rain, so that's... But anyway, we progress. Thank you. 
Look at it now. This is wrong. This is borderline illegal. Finally, the brick has been removed from the droopy. That was a massive, massive couple of days. I know I skipped through a lot of it because it's a bit boring, it's just tedious. I don't think you really want to be sitting down watching through all that. But stick around for next week when we get stuck into splitting the box from the old 2H and installing the clutch, getting that back installed onto the droopy. Anyway, until then, see you then. Cheers for watching. <laughs>